Hey gang, welcome back. It is Kevin Cowboy here with another video on Iron Throne. But before we begin, again, ladies and gentlemen, use that link in the description of this video to download the game. If you utilize that link, you will get rewarded for doing so. I promise you it is worth your while. Also, hit me up in the DMs as well, Discord or in line when you do that, just to make Go sure down that you the... get those rewards. Um, because, hey, rewards make you grow quicker. That's what we all want to see. So, moving forward with that, here is a general guide to your growth in this game and how to make this game all worth it. So, this game is absol absolutely amazing. It is amazing for free to play. It is amazing for pay to win. So, without much further ado, this is how I recommend that you start your growth off as a new player. Well, obviously, your first step is going to be following your quest line, these challenges. When you follow the challenges, they will lead you to awesome upgrades. It'll keep you on track. It'll keep all of your buildings equal, and you'll get rewarded for doing so. You'll get free resources. You'll get Lord Experience. Lord Experience gives you even more stats on top of your equipment and your research. So, cannot complain with that. However, once you hit Citadel 22 and you get really nice and strong, what you want to focus on then from there is up to level 25. Well, actually, starting at level 25, moving up higher than that, what you want to focus on is you want to focus on your Citadel. Only follow these direct uh, requirements in order to upgrade your Citadel. Now, you'll notice I was playing a little bit of runaround. I started with my Citadel. It took me to my wall, and then it took me to my, f uh, my forge, then it took me to my iron mine. It's a long route. However, it is stuff you got to do to upgrade your citadel. That's why I recommend you skip all the other challenges and you just focus on what you actually need to do. That's going to be a quick way to get past that level 25. You will need some special materials in order to get past that level, including these maester compasses. Now, these maester compasses are not cheap, but I will also be sh showing you how to get them for free. You will also need special materials, including these like kindling. There's also some more trumpets, and there is one other that you will need to upgrade a couple different buildings in your castle. There's only three types, but the cost does add up, so you will need to go ahead and grind them out on a daily basis in order to get awesome rewards. Now, one way to do this is through the Golden Moon. The Golden Moon gives you chests every so often that gives you not only it will, will it give you these maester compasses and all those special materials, but it will also give you chests in order to craft new gear. So this is awesome. You can sit in here all day long. I don't want to do it because I will get zeroed while I'm in there. I'm getting paired up with... People. You don't lose actual troops. That's something you should yes. touch on. When you're in Golden Moon, it's a special event. And special events in this game use separate troops. So now, if he gets killed in Golden Moon, that does not affect his troop count in the actual game. It is a separate troop count, so you don't have to worry about having to revive constantly. That's not something you're going to have to do. It's just specifically for that game mode. However, the lower level you are, the lower bracket you're in, so you're going to be fighting weaker people. And you don't have to fight every time in Golden Moon. Typically, a typical day in Golden Moon consists of entering Golden Moon, taking one of the sanctuaries, which takes about 10 seconds. When those 10 seconds are up, I leave. And then for the next 12 hours, I get free rewards. 12 hours from then, I get kicked out of the Golden Moon for timing out, because you can only be in there for 12 hours at a time. After those 12 hours are up, I go in, I do it again. So about 20 seconds a day, and I get free rewards all day long. Okay. Another thing that we want to focus on is going to be our command center. Our command center gives us increased deployable troop size increase. So send more troops into your march. Really nice and easy cut and dry. Now, another thing that we want to focus on is our dragon altar. On top of our altar, sometimes every four hours, we will notice that our dragon has some gold like shimmering around it. If you click on that dragon, you get about 300 to 1200 gold. It's random, but this gold does go towards being able to shield constantly. In this game, as a free-to-play, you can shield forever for free. You can also still, on top of that, have a solid gold income as a free to play. So this is something else that we want to be focusing on while we are playing this game. Now, furthermore from here, let's go ahead and show you a couple different um, things across the map that will help you get started and get you an edge against all of the other players that are your level. So looking at our map, we're going to go ahead and click on 
this button on the right here, it has like a little map with a little compass. Um, towards my left of the screen, right above my chat, if we click here, it'll take us to the kingdom map. You'll notice these little, like little flashing icons. These are, car, these are called Ancient People's Trial Steeple. When we go here, there are many different floors, and on these floors, we get a bunch of awesome rewards. So, for doing this trial, I get 300 orbs of trial, a piece of sagacious gear, which gives me research speed plus 40%, as well as a whole bunch of resources and lord experience. You're allowed to do three challenges per day. They get increasingly more difficult the higher you go up, and then, after you beat it, you can suppress it for a lot less rewards, but this is something for more in the long run, and it will just be a nice steady inflow, uh, increase in resources. Now, how do you utilize these orbs trials, and what do they do for you? Well, these orbs of trials can be utilized in your upgrading, so let's go back to our command center. You could go to enhance, 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 and we enhance. notice that we can utilize these kind of like prestige banners and glory banners like Guns of Glory and King of Avalon and get additional stat bonuses on our buildings by utilizing these uh, orbs of trial. Now, once you get past level 20, it requires you to have a couple different um, resources in order to upgrade. I don't believe I have any that are below a level 20. Um, so, below a level 20, all it takes is Orbs of Trials in very low quantities in order to enhance. So, that is something else that we want to be looking towards. Another thing that we want to look towards is also going to be our shop. If you look in the recommended, every single day there is a free pack. It usually gives about 400 gold and it gives you a whole bunch of other resources that you can utilize. Now, that this is a free package every single day of the week. So, that's also something that you want to keep in mind while you're playing this game. Now, moving forward from here, there's a couple other um, events that are awesome that you want to do on a daily basis. Included in this is the Battle Royale. Battle Royale is essentially a Battle Royale. It's 20 versus 20, you go in there, you fight, people you try to survive the longest the longer you survive the better your rewards and at the end of the season everybody everybody in battle royale starts evenly so think about battle royale just like a fortnite game apex or any of those other games PUBG, etc when you go into battle royale everybody's on an even keel you start out with the exact same troops you start out with the exact same power you start out with the exact same research etc as you kill more as you do more you get more experience points and those points go directly into upgrades that are going to help you be stronger to fight other people. The faster you get those upgrades, the better off you'll be. When you do that, what's going to happen is you are going to start getting stronger and stronger than everybody else in the game. And we will give a more in-depth guide. But essentially what you want to do is you want to stay at high health and keep everybody else at low health. Last man standing wins. The rewards are fantastic. You can do this once every four hours. In addition, if you do this often enough, there's seasons. When you do it throughout the season, the more points you accumulate, at the end of the season, you can collect a ton of war coins. And these war coins are for a specific shop in your citadel, and that shop is going to allow you to buy wonderful, wonderful things, including you could buy daily revive points, you could buy three-day speed-ups, super cheap. You can also get things similar to uh, Conqueror gear, random pieces of Conqueror gear, fully crafted at Immortal, Dominator gear, uh, Guardian gear, etc., you can also buy the rare materials for every piece of equipment you could possibly want to make and other fantastic rewards. Go check out that shop. You can find that shop by going to the inn inside your city, clicking on top of that little bronze coin that's hovering over your inn, and that will bring you directly to the shop. You can figure out all those kind of things. We'll give a more in-depth guide later on on VR and how to win, how to dominate, how to take home that awesome money. Awesome, thank you for that. As well as that, on top of that, we also have the arena. Uh, I, While he was talking, I showed you guys Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch is similar to Battle Royale, but team-wise, but your stats from your account do apply there. So if you have equipment, if you have guard captains, that will assist you. It can also hurt you. But you can also gain points, which will give you more bonuses while in the game. Now, here's the arena. This is the dimensional battle and you can get rewards here as well. Um, we'll go more into detail here in a special video. However, I just want to briefly show you that. However, where I want to mainly focus is going to be the town mode. 
there are epic quests and there are daily quests. You want to utilize your daily quests um, every day. Just do them. They're really nice and quick. However, you want to get through those epic quests, there's three chapters, as quickly as possible. You unlock awesome heroes for doing this. You unlock, you get awesome rewards, and it just it's a multiplying factor in this. Plus, while you do that, and you complete daily uh, an epic quest, you also get um, different buffs for your castle for the day. So that is also something that you want to pay attention to. Now, when we go to the event center on our citadel, um, we can notice there's a whole bunch of other events, and they tell you exactly what to do, and they will give you awesome rewards for doing so. Those things you get new ones all the time. There's also daily, daily ones that you have to do. When you do those, those give specific rewards. If you rewards, if you don't do those by the end of the day, those disappear. There's ones that have unlimited time frames. Those are the ones that you want to complete as quickly as possible. The faster you complete the ones that are unlimited, the faster you unlock better ones. And the better ones you unlock will give you significantly better rewards. And it is, it is incredible how much better they get. But it is also incredible how rewarding it truly is when they start giving out these payouts. Like, you're talking about getting weeks and months of speed-ups from a single event. And in other games similar to this, Guns of Glory, King of Avalon, you are not going to get anything at all anywhere close to the rewards that you're getting from these on a daily basis. Now, one of the biggest ones that you want to do is you're going to want to do your growth strategy. Growth strategy is amazing. That's the one that goes up very, very high. Once you start getting to growth strategy 4 and growth strategy 5, that's when you start getting weeks and months of speed-ups. And those are going to be the things that are going to help you get to higher and higher stronghold levels. So you make sure that you're doing those every day as often as possible. Go look out, at, go look out for the things that are time-gated, meaning that you can only do a certain amount of them per day, and make sure you're doing those on a daily basis. Things like that include challenge modes in the dimensional battles, as well as arenas. Only do a certain amount of those per day, so make sure you're capping those out. Yep. Now, let's go ahead and quickly talk about some basic starter packs in the next video. We're can we, can we, can we touch... Can we touch on two things real quick? Yeah, go for it. All right, so another couple things that you're going to want to do every single day, you're going to want to make sure that every three hours, if possible, you go to the dragon hovering next to it's near your prison. Video. You're going to want to do a dragon every three hours. Every 24 hours, you can go to the capital, which is in the center of the map. If you click on the capital, and you click on the capital again, right? So you go to the map, click where the capital is, click on the capital itself. It's going to bring up a little chat box at the bottom of your screen. It's going to say capital, it's going to give you the chords, and it's going to have a few options on it. In the far right, there's an X. Directly next to the X, there's a chest. That chest is where you're going to want to click. When you click that, there's going to be two options. One says claim, and one says donate. The donate function is for people who buy packs. You get donation tickets. Those people can spend those tickets to put 100 of that specific item into the shop. Now, everybody in the kingdom can once a day claim one of those items from the shop. So you go to claim after somebody is donated, and you're going to want to make sure every day you're trying to claim. If there's nothing in there, try and wait a couple of hours, or try and coordinate with somebody else in your alliance who may be spending, or if you're spending, donate, get something in there that you want, and claim it. The best things that you can possibly get are the auto hunt increase monster for one hour. That's only 400 tickets, so you're going to be able to get a lot of those for very little value. And, or sorry, for very cheap, and it's going to give you a lot of value. Auto Hunt is a great function. It's a great way to get some free XP and some free speed ups, as well as free equipment caches that you can do while you're sleeping, while you're at work, while you're driving to work, all sorts of things, because it's just going to hunt monsters for you for free. So you're going to want to do that. It does cost AP when you do hunt monsters with that. However, you're going to be using that AP without actually having to click, and it's a great way to utilize downtime in the game. The other best things that you can get are 200% troop attack boost for 30 minutes, 200% troop HP boost for 30 minutes, and 200% troop defense boost for 30 minutes. The issues with those are they are 2,100 tickets as opposed to 400 tickets. So they are significantly more expensive. However, if you have the tickets or if you see one of those in there, that is what you want to take. That is higher value. You want to take it every time if you see it. If it's your tickets, typically you're going to want to talk to your alliance and make sure that your alliance is online, you have a decent amount of people online, when one person donates, everybody in the alliance goes and claims. So that way everybody can make sure that they're getting value out of somebody in their alliance helping them out. 
And lastly, the last thing I want to touch on is in the bottom left of your screen, you have a chat that says quests. It's directly next to your items tab. So you're going to want to click on quests. Those quests, if they have a little present on the right of them, you're going to be able to claim something from them. But one of them is more important than the others, and that is the VIP daily quests. You can do these once a day, and every single day, you want to make sure that you are maxing out your daily quest points, because that's going to give you an amazing set of rewards. Every single day you can collect these, as long as you're doing the objectives. And the objectives are very, very easy to complete. It's only going to take you a few minutes as long as you dedicate that time specifically to those options. And you go through, complete each of those quests until you get to the 400 point mark. Once you get to the 400 point mark, you've now claimed every one of those rewards. And those rewards include immortal hammers, speed ups, war trumpets, shackles, and kindling, which are used for high level upgrades on certain buildings. And then additionally, you're going to get 100 Berserker material chests per day. And those are the high rarities. Those are the one to six, one to six materials. So that can give you all the way up to Immortal. And that's very important. And then the last one is Conqueror and Guardian. And those are the level 30 sets of equipment. And the level 30 sets of equipment are even better than level 20 sets of equipment. And it's going to be a lot cheaper to make them if you're making sure to get your free ones every single day. So you're going to want to do that. And then on top of that, you also get some extra VIP points. And VIP in this game is stronger than VIP in any other game you've played, almost guaranteed. So you're going to want to make sure that you're climbing up in VIP. And that is what you're going to want to make sure you're doing every day. If you're doing those things every day, you're going to be able to climb faster than every other player around. Because other players who don't do that are going to be missing out on materials on top of materials. And materials make armor, and armor makes wins. All right, thank you, Swag, and ladies Achoo. and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. This is Captain Cowboy signing off. Do do do, my name is Swag. Do do do, here we're Captain Cowboy. Do do do, oh yeah. Do do do, get a little funky.